All right, Shalom Akio. First and foremost, we like to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. And salutations to the elect out there pushing out the word in truth and sincerity. And, you know, basically, you know, uh, this is a, a video uh, landbacking uh, of uh, the apostle uh, 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 Gabar's uh, sit down earlier today. You know, basically talking about the persecution, you know. And, you know, uh, brother's got a couple of scriptures right here, you know. It's intended to be a quick lesson, you know. Uh, you know, we could go into it, you know, and, and, and talk about it, man. So this is uh, 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 12. It says, For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of Yahweh is against them that do evil. So, you know, hey, no matter what, what is going to come to happen, man, you know, the Lord has his eyes on those, you know, that are doing his will, man. You know, his elect, you know. Hey, so, you know, if, if uh, you know, we're doing these right things, man. Hebrew says, man, that, that the Lord is not unjust. That he should, uh, 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 oh, that, that's another scripture. But basically, you know, that uh, he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him, man. So, hey, man, that's, that's the sentiment. It says, but the face of the Lord is against them that do evil, man. So whoever is going to come and persecute us, hey, man, best believe they're going to get their judgment, bro. So, man, there's nothing to worry about. This is uh, verse 13. It says, um, you know, nothing to get too worked up about. It's uh, verse 13. It says, and who is he that will harm you if ye be followers of that which is good? But, and if ye suffer for righteousness sake... Happy are ye, and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. You know, it says, But sanctify Yahweh power in your hearts, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you the reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear, man. Hey, Amen. So that's the whole sentiment, sentiment, man. Like, though we know what's, what's, what, uh, what, what these Edomites are getting ready to do, try to persecute the church, you know, of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. We we know that the end game that that uh Yahweh uh why Yahweh Shai is gonna put them to judgment, man. You know. Um, I'm gonna bring out this uh Maccabees chapter seven, and this is just going to uh, the second Maccabee brothers, you know, and uh the things that they went through. But I'm gonna just bring out one account. This is uh uh second Maccabees chapter seven, starting at verse. I'm gonna start at verse um ten. It says, after him was the third made a mocking stop. And when he was required, he put out his tongue that and that right soon. It says, holding his hands, uh, holding his hands manfully and said courageously, these I had from heaven and for the laws, I despised them. And from him, I hope to receive them again. You know, so the, the, uh, the, uh, the brother of the second, uh, one of the brothers of the second Maccabees, he said, for, for the laws, I, de I despised my hands, you know, because he was ready to, to get his hands chopped off for, for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh sake, you know, and he was ready to die. You know, like uh, like Paul said, you know, I, I be not only ready to be thrown in prison or to be beaten, but I be ready to die for Yahweh Shai, you know. It goes on to say, and so much that the king and they that were with him marveled at the young man's courage, for that he... It says, for that he nothing regarded the pains, you know, and and, and the heathens they were they they was they was marveling at, at how much how much courage he had, you know. When you read uh, Second Ezra, it tells you uh that the the man that stood so boldly for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, you know. So it says uh, it goes and say now when this man was dead, also they tormented and, and mingled the fourth in the like manner. So he, he so he died for for Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You know, and, and and he was he was uh, courageous, like the scripture said. You know, that mean he probably he he spoke with a like a manly voice, and he he didn't regard any of the things that they said because they show was tempting these seven brothers. You know, mm -hmm. and they they led a great example unto, uh -huh. unto, unto what what, what uh, how we supposed to go through it. You know, if if, if need be, that we have to, man. That's right. All right, just to back, back what he said was Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. 
-hmm. You know, it's 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 a great account of what happened that builds us up, you know, with the scriptures, you know. The things are written for time uh, in the scriptures uh, give us hope, you know, that it builds up our spirit, you know, because uh, those accounts happen for real, man, and we got to put that in mind that we're, we're, we're going to have to go through that as well. Um, right. I bring uh, to bring that uh, another precept is uh, Matthew's uh, five and ten. Blessed are they, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness righteousness sake, for there is the kingdom of heaven. <clears throat> because uh, we're and through the, and through this faith we're going to be persecuted uh, for righteousness sake for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, because what, what is righteousness? Law, statutes, commandments, man. For, for righteous case is uh there there is a kingdom of heaven because the scriptures say uh whoever uh endureth uh through endureth and keepeth my work is is a kingdom of heaven, right? You know what I'm saying? Right. Well, that's how you know it was uh it was righteous, man. You know through the commandments, man, because the the root word to that is right. You know, so how you know what's right or what's wrong, man? You know, what well, the Lord led us me through His law, statutes, and commandments, man. It's as simple as that. Oh, I'll keep on reading. Verse 11 Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Because, yeah, uh, all, all these, uh, they're, they're going to come against us. Not not just Esau and these other nations, but our, mainly our people, man. They're going to come against us. They speak, uh, they, they speak evil amongst us for bringing up this truth. You know, the, the, our, the persecution is only going to get worse. You know, it's gonna come um a life and death situations. Yeah, like ah. you, like you, like the scripture said too. Uh, you know, uh, it, it said uh, it's a great thing if you have to suffer for that, man. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. so so that goes to, to your salvation, man. You know, hey, you're following after the footsteps of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. You know, he he had to go through it, hey, and you know, shit, and he and, you know, and he didn't he he was blameless when he did it, when he went through it, man. You know, us on the other hand, you know. We, we wouldn't, uh, you know, uh, we, we, we have, you know, sin in our past, man. You know, so it, it wouldn't be unrighteous, man. Right. I'm, I'm going to keep on reading this verse. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so right. persecuted they, the prophets, which were before you. So the reward in heaven is going to be the kingdom. We're going to have all, all these other nations. We're going to rule them with a rod of iron, you know. Thus, it thus says the scriptures. So we gotta, you know, always remember that. You know, we look at the bigger picture, because uh, this is only gonna be a, a light affliction. You know, it's gonna be a light affliction we're gonna have to go through. You know, the kingdoms for everlasting. You know, like the scripture says, uh, uh, affliction at the moment oh, seemeth grievous, but uh, it worketh to uh, something you know far more good. You know, and the, the scripture tells you that. It, uh, in order to suffer, uh, I mean, if you want to reign with shot, you got to suffer with shot. you know? Hey, so, prophets are going to get persecuted. And the uh, scripture says, uh, he that endured to the end shall be saved, you know? Uh, this is, uh, <clears throat> this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 12. It says, therefore, let us lie and wait for the righteous. Because he is not for our turn. He is clean contrary to our doings. He abradeth us with our offending the law and, of, and objective to our infamy, the transgressions of our education. You know, so for the fact that the prophets, you know, is um, prophesying about the kingdom, uh, telling our people to get right, you know what I'm saying? That's the beginning of the, the, uh, the end of Esau's rulership. So he wants to continue to rule. So in order to stop stop some is if if he say shut up and the uh, the prophets are not shutting up, they gonna try to put him down, man. You know. Right, and and this scripture is talking about uh, you know, basically these heathens, man. You know, cause uh, that that that's their thing, man. You know, uh, they said that they're clean contrary to their doings, man. Esau has an agenda, man. You know, he's trying to push this, you know, do as thou will spirit, you know, uh, this homosexuality spirit. You know, uh, all this faggotry, really. And, uh, you know, and, 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 and he hates that we're bringing out the righteous word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So that, that is really, like, the reason why, you know, he, he's going to he, he's gonna come after us, man. Because he knows that we're not going to be able to, to live in his society, man, without causing problems, man. 
you know, because we're going to stand boldly for the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahushat, you know, regardless of who's ruling or, or whatever, man, you know, hey, shit, you know, the, the truth endureth forever, man, and there's not going to be no, you know, fe, uh, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> excuse of a, of a man, uh, Edomite, so-called white man, uh, uh, to stop it, man, you know, it's going to endure. Right, that's that's why uh, the scripture says in Revelations that uh, I think it's the twelfth chapter, he says that uh, that uh, basically that Esau uh, knows that he has a short short time, man. You know what I'm saying? Because they they really believe that their kingdom can actually continue if they kill the prophets, man. Because it's not true. Right. Well, they see they see uh, uh, everything like crumbling around them and shit. The people are are starting to come in uproars, so they got to start making moves and shit. And they see the prophets being out here. Preaching their word, man. You know they they see that they gotta push uh push the push their uh, agenda faster, man. Mm -hmm. You know, but but you have more pieces, bro. I have more. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. So you if, if you got it, bring it up. All right. Uh, verse thirteen it says he professes to have the knowledge of the Most High, and he calls himself the child of Yahweh. Uh, it says he was made to reprove our thoughts. He is grievous unto us even to behold, for his life is not like other men's. His ways are of another fashion. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it says, we are esteemed of him as counterfeits. He abstains from our ways as from, from filthiness. He pronounced the end of the just to be blessed and make it his, make it, make it his boast that the Most High is his Father. You know what I'm saying? So the thing is, is that we, um, we, 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 we are telling Esau how the prophets are telling Esau how profane his ways is, and that it has to go down, man. You know what I'm saying? And it says, it says, uh, let us see if his words be true, and let us prove what shall happen in the end, end of him. You know, so they, you know, a lot of prophets gonna get tried, man. You know what I'm saying? The, the Lord had told us about that in Revelations 2 and 10. Some of us should be casted out into prison, you know what I'm saying? And we should be tried 10 days, you know? And whoever, whoever do it to the end, and even if you get killed, guess what, man? You, 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 you gonna have that crown of life. Oh. It says, uh, for if, it says, for if the just man be the son of the most high, he will help him and deliver him from the hand of his enemies. Let us examine him with the, the spitefulness and torture that we may know his meekness and prove his patience. And one they uh, one of the things they're gonna try to do is, is torture us, man. Some of us gonna get rounded up in those FEMA camps, man, because they want us to denounce the Lord, which uh, you know the elect not, is not gonna do, man. Come. <clears throat> uh, this Philippians uh, two and twenty nine. Once you, it is given in the behalf of Hamashiach. Not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sakes. So it's um, faith is not only going to be given unto us, you know, but to suffer for his sakes, you know, for for his name, you know. If, if he had to suffer, we also got to suffer because the scripture says, "Serving not better than his master." So the afflictions that he went through, we also have to go through, you know. It's like you said, it was what? Would you brought? Philippians uh, one and twenty nine. One and twenty nine. Come. You got that you got that one, the servants not better than the mess. Huh. This is uh John 15, John fifteen, uh starting at verse twenty. It says Shalaki, it says, It remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than the Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my sins, they will keep yours also, you know. So that's and that's, and that's plain, you know. And who's our Lord? Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. And we see the things that uh that uh, Yahusha went through. He was crucified, you know. And, and so, like the scripture says, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they persecuted me, you know, they gonna persecute his man, you know. Huh. You got another one? The X. Yeah, bring them, bring them all out, bro. All right. Is X uh, five and uh, we should start from uh, from thirty eight. And and now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone, 
For for if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of Yahweh, ye cannot overthrow it. Let's happily be founded even to fight against Yahweh. Remember that. Oh, this because it's going to an account of what was, what was going down. But if it be of Yahweh, it cannot be overthrown. It lets be happily ye be found even to fight against Yahweh. And to him they agreed. And when they call, had called the apostles and beaten them, they they commanded that they should not speak in the name of Yahweh Shai. Right, because basically uh, Gamaliel, which was a doctor of the, of, the, of, the, of the word, which he was one of the Pharisees, he was uh, giving counsel unto other people and be like, oh, you know, leave, leave the apostles alone, basically. Because, you know, everybody uh, before that, they claimed to, you know, have some uh, 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 some pull with the Most High or, or however you want to say it, like that they were chosen of the Most High. Uh, uh, they were all brought to naught. So he, he was like, oh, you know, just leave them alone because the same thing is going to happen if that's the case, you know. Mm -hmm. They commanded that they should not speak in the name of Yahweh Shai and, and let them go. And they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. Right, hey, and they were, and, that, and that's the sentiment, man. And they should be happy, you know, if we do suffer for it, man. Because, hey, man, the same happened to uh, to Yahweh Shai, and that's how you know you're one of his servants, man. Because that's the same thing that, that we just read in, in that uh, in that John, right? Okay. You know, hey, the servants are going to go through that. Okay. Go ahead, man. Um, and daily in the temple in every house they, they cease not to teach and preach Yahweh Shai right they, they just kept going with it man you know that that didn't stop them man and neither shall should, should let us man you know Yahweh Shai man no, it's, it's beautiful how they, they rejoice to be kind of worthy you know to be beaten for uh, Yahweh Shai's sake man no, it's uh, that that's humbling because even uh, to to be counted at you know uh, the lowest you know or the or at least to to be counted at to get whipped you know for for his name. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and, and, if, and even enduring in that, you know what I'm saying? Enduring to be to Yahweh Shai comes, you know. Scriptures say till I come, stay occupied, you know, and and reading and exhortation, you know, and. Uh, I kind of chopped it, but you know, yeah, no, kind. Of, but uh, I got the scripture right here in uh, Ecclesiastes chapter seven, verse um, verse eight. It says, "Better is the end of the things." It's it's like it says, "Better is the end of a thing." It says, "Than than the beginning thereof." So, so scripture says, "Um, you know, better better is the end." Of something that uh you know rather than than the beginning man when when you first start man so you know even the I mean the scriptures break breaks it down how how uh basically America is like the like the last captivity that we're in you know what I'm saying so so you know what I'm saying like we're almost you know damn near at whoa shit we're damn near at the end man you know what I'm saying and and so like the the end of it you know if we endure all these trials and all this hardship man. You know what I'm saying? It, it, hey, man, the scriptures say, man, the, you know what I'm saying? The righteous shall rejoice at the end, you know? And, um, uh, if I'm gonna keep reading, it says, uh, it says, uh, and the, and the pa uh, patient, it says, and the patient, like, yeah, and the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. So, you know what I'm saying? So, like, like, like the scriptures say in Revelations, man, uh, here, here's the patience of my saints, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you know, um, uh, so you know, it's better than it's better to 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 be patient and wait on the Lord than than uh than uh be 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 proud and do do things your own way. You know what I'm saying? Right, cause um the the scripture says, because um uh the scripture says uh, itself and um uh Sirach, I think it's the second chapter it says. That uh, woe to you who lost patience, man. The Lord is looking upon the ones who's gonna fight into the end, man. You know what I'm saying? This is gonna be a great battle against good and evil, man. Yahweh Shai had to, had to do it, and he prevailed, man. You know what I'm saying? And and uh, we hoping to be able to do the same thing. Come. Huh. What's more today? Is that it on there, bro? Yeah, it was it.
All right, uh, I, I got this last priest if, if uh, your brothers don't have anything. I got one. Go ahead, come this on. In Psalms uh, 116 and 15, precious is the sight of the Lord. And precious in the sight of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh sight is the death of his saints. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So if you if you gotta die in this truth, hey, guess what? You just did a victory, man. You you strived on to death like y'all y'all about to see y'all shot said, man. You know? Well, 16 to 15. It's, um, Con. It's, it's, uh, hey, look, it's, it's beautiful like you just said, man. It's, that's a great victory, man. You know? Hey, shit. At least then you know it's, it's, it's a for sure deal, man. You know? It's a for sure deal. Shit. The Lord, it says the Lord, you know, beautiful on the side of the Lord, you know? God. This uh, this Revelation is two and ten. It says, "Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life." You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know if we if we hopefully we endure to the end. You know. Uh, uh, you know, being in these family camps, they show you on Call of Duty. Uh, I think it's three when you do the storyline. Uh, how they got some of the soldiers where they pour down like iodine, uh, 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 alcohol down their throats and stuff, beating them, blinding them. You know, I forgot what the other one is called. Uh, I think it's like motorboat or something where they put you in that cold water when they try to drown you and stuff. You know, you know, and and then way worse things because you know Esau. With all this new technology and stuff, he listening to all the great, all the great uh, uh, um, uh, torturing uh, th uh, ideas that Jake want to put up on him. He might try to use it on us, man. Well, but shit, hey, you, you just gotta look uh, at the devices that they used uh, uh, d during the the the, uh, uh, the recent slavery, man. You know the 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 where the, our, our brothers uh, the Judites were in slavery, man. And shit, they used it with the Native Americans too, man. You know, with the indigenous of these people, man, they had torture chairs, you know, all, you know, manner of foul things, man. You know, but, hey, shit, Yahweh Shai will pull us through anything that these devils want to throw at us, man. Go ahead. All right, this is Isaiah no. chapter 5, verse 20. It says, one to them they call evil good and good evil. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you got, uh, you got two thirds, man. You know what I'm saying? That want to continue to be within this lifetime, man. You know what I'm saying? Because like it says in John 8 and 44, they are their father the devil, man. They don't want this to go down. So what they going to do, they going to buck up just like they did when you was shot. You know? And it says uh, that that put darkness for light and light for darkness because they they, they, they feel that profane, that, you know, being profane is holiness to them, man. You know what I'm saying? And it says... Uh, 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 it says uh, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. You know what I'm saying? Destruction onto them, man. You know what I'm saying? Because they're going in the wrong way. They're not going in, 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 in into a lit path, man. You know, they grow up in they grow up in darkness, man. You know, that's their pathway. Right. <clears throat> hey, because you know that that's that's why we're gonna get persecuted, man. Because they call what we're doing evil, man. Mm -hmm. Which is really good, man. So hey, man. At the end of the day, it's gonna be destruction to them, man. You know, uh, like the brother Red and Maccabees, man. Though though we may lose these bodies here, we hope to receive them again. You know, uh, through uh, uh, from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. So you know they they're gonna be damned for eternity, man. Ours is but for a moment, man. All right. This is Acts chapter fourteen, verse twenty-two. It says, "I'm gonna start at verse twenty-one." It says, "And when they had preached the gospel to the city." And had taught many, they returned again to Lastria and Iconium and Antioch, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith, and that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of God. That's right. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you read the chap, when you read this chapter, uh, uh, I think it was Paul that was um, he was beat and and uh, stoned until they supposed that he was dead, you know, and then then after right after that he got up. And he went to go preach again, you know, and and so that's the mindset that brothers should be in, and especially in the times coming up, because, hey man, the the the, the persecution is coming, you know. But like the scripture says, through much tribulation we shall enter into the kingdom of Yahweh by Shemuel Come, go ahead. You got something, Aliyah? 
No, go ahead. Go ahead, bro. All right, it's, uh, for you guys. This, uh, Sirach, chapter 2, verse 1. It says, My son, if thou come to serve Yahweh, people, by Hashem Yahshai, prepare thy soul for temptation. You know what I'm saying? Esau's finna come with all uh, all types of things, like uh, like uh, Satan himself. What he do? He came to Yahweh Shai saying, you can have all these kingdoms, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, even with the uh, Maccabee brothers, man. You know, uh, forget, forget what the king's name was, but well, what he was trying to do. He was saying, I give you all this if you just taste of this wine, man. You know what I'm saying? All types of temptation. You know, right. you, you got certain brothers who got um, children and stuff. That might be a temptation that he saw my use against them, man. You know? Right. And, and, it's, and it's all because we followed his word, man. Okay. You know? And it says, uh, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make no haste in time of trouble. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if, even if you are in the midst of um, about to get tortured or you, you see something else happen before you and stuff, hey, man, uh, uh, continue to endure, man. You know what I'm saying? And don't panic, you know? Cause if you panic, you might freeze up, do the wrong move, and then you know, you 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 know. Uh, verse three it says, "Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, cause you know Yahweh Shem Yashai is dealing with you, man. You know, you, you, if you are in that situation, you should be glory. I mean, not glory. Glory in Yahweh Shem Yashai, but actually be happy that you you made it this far, man." That's how you know he's dealing with you, man. God. You know, those are for signs to know uh, that uh, Yahba Shem uh lives, man. And it says he, it says, and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. You know, because with us being persecuted, the thing is, is that we we, we on the uh, uh, lowest estate right now. And it also goes for uh uh you you people uh, so like it also goes for you two thirds who um uh, who um. Uh, Still want to believe in Christianity? Cause guess what? You still on the list of Project Megiddo, man. You know what I'm saying? They want y'all too. They gonna come after y'all last too. Hey, all blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You know what I'm saying? It's shit. No matter who you are, man. You could be a millionaire, man. When 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 these uh, uh fucking uh, martial law kicks in, man, you're gonna be just like them, man. You know if you ain't if you're not an elite, which there's no Israelite elite right now, man. You know, they just got peons to give a couple of million, man, or a billion here and there, man. But hey, when when that when uh when martial law kicks in, when uh, when everything hits, hey, everybody's gonna get it, man. Everybody's gonna get it. So hey, shit, whether you you get it for for just being a, a two third, uh, uh just 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 for being you, you know, for being an Israelite peon, or or you get it for serving your house Shem Shai, man, you decide. Cause but either way. Everybody's gonna get afflicted, man. Everybody, it's gonna be Jacob's trouble, man. You know, everybody's gonna get messed up, anyways, man. You know. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, verse five: For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of of adversity. You know what I'm saying? Like you have, uh, like it says in Zechariah uh, thirteen and nine, that uh, the Lord's gonna bring the one third through the fire, man. You know what I'm saying? And it says, uh, believe in Him, and He will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. He that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy and go not aside, lest ye fall. And that less means that not, man. You know what I'm saying? It says, uh, Ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. You know, like the brother said, he, uh, he that end, and do it to the end, the same shall be saved. And it says, uh, almost done. It says, And ye. It says, ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. It's, so I always look for the bigger picture. What's the bigger picture? The kingdom. You know, even if I had to die, hey, guess what? Uh, I, I, Lord willing, I will be part of that leg number. I'll be in them chariots, you know. And it says, uh, verse 10, it says, look at the generation of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord it was confounded? Like the brother brought out in um, Romans um, 15 and 4, you said the things from written before time was for our learning, man. You know what I'm saying? Abraham trusted, uh, Isaac trusted, J Jacob trusted, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it says, uh, uh, or did any abide in his spirit and was faith forsaken? Or who did he ever despise that called upon his name? You know what I'm saying? So the thing is, is that continue to do it to the end. Stay in the faith, man. You know, don't fall out, you know. Uh, uh, fight this good fight of faith, like it says, and I think uh, Peter's, you know, 
come, man. You know, but but the point is very clear, man. You know, if you stick by him, fight up for him unto death, man, he's not gonna forsake you, man. You know, as simple as that, man. And strive lawfully, man. You know, and and the Lord set out, paved out the way, you know, through the men of Great Millstone, man. So hey, man, you go other guys in the other camps, man. You know, hey, like like the apostle, uh, uh, uh man, who he slips me, um. Go, yeah, the Apostle Gabar said, man, you know, you guys that haven't joined uh, camps, you guys too, man. Mm -hmm. You know, about time, you know, you, you guys make, make make that move, man. You know, you don't want to be found uh, 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 not working, man. That's right. And plus, Esau, Esau know who you is, even if you ain't trying to come out on the highways and byways, because he know what you watch. Kind of. Hey, like we said, everybody's going to get it, man. You know, it just depends on, on what the reason why you get it, man. You know what's funny? Uh, I want to back it's you it's up. It's it's and actually, the 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 elect, there's there's a possibility that you might not even, you know, uh uh uh, uh die. So shit, hey, everybody else has already promised to you know to to die, man. And if you're not dying, you're you're a heathen and you're going to slavery, man. You know. So for you you Jakes, you know that's your best bet out of here, man. Ain't ain't nothing else gonna save you. Ain't no bunker gonna save you, man. But go ahead, I can. Let's try to wrap it up. Uh. Come here. This is just uh second Ezra, seven and eighteen. It says, "Nevertheless, the righteous shall suffer straight things, and hope for the wide. For they that have done wickedly have suffered the straight things, and yet shall not see the wide." You know, so the the righteous, you know, they gonna suffer straight things. You know, and hope for the wide. You know, the kingdom of heaven and salvation. You know, but it's then it says, "For they that have done wickedly." Have suffered straight things, and yet shall not see the white, you know. So the 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 two thirds and these heathens, they also gonna go through difficult things, you know, because that's what the word straight goes into, but but position of difficulty, you know. So they gonna also go through these uh, difficult situations, you know, during the time of Jacob's trouble, and and they still gonna have to go through that fire, that physical fire, you know. So which one you wanna pick? Huh. Got something, bro? Yeah. Um. So Rock 2 and 12, it says, Woe be to, to the fearful hearts and faint hands and the sinners that go two ways. Man, you, you can't be scared of this. The Lord said he will have our back, man. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, is that he, he on, the Lord said that he'll never give you anything that's too high for thee, man. You know what I'm saying? And he's going to test you. He want to see if you're about the business, his business, man. You know what I'm saying? He will, he will, yeah. Uh, let me back this brother up, you know, spirit, you know. There's Psalms 119 and 41. Let thy mercies come also unto me, O Yahweh, even thy salvation according to thy word. So shall I, I have wherewith to answer with that reproaches me, for I trust in that word. So yet we're going to stab boldly, we're going to, um, we're going to, um, we're, we're going to trust in this word, because that, that's, this is what we're going to, um, have when they reproach us, you know, when scoffers, other people come, and that word we're going to trust, and take not that word of truth utter, utterly out of my mouth, for I have hope in thy judgment, you know, say, so, hey, we have hope that, that America is going to be destroyed, that um, that the heathen are going to come under our feet, you know, and we're going to be in rulership, you know, so shall I keep thy law continually forever and ever. And I will walk at liberty, for, for I seek thy precepts. I will speak of thy testimony also before kings, and will not be ashamed. And this is what we're doing now. We're speaking against kings of this uh, of this uh, nation, of this country. You know, that, that America is going to be destroyed, you know. We're the real men preaching out this word, man. Not these other, you know, other groups, you know. They're, they're speaking prosperity and other things. You know, making it in America, hey, this is not our rest, you know. Uh, I have it. You have one? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so um, we're going to finish off right here in the, this last precept. This is uh, Revelations. It's a lucky man. <clears throat> this is Revelations chapter 12, verse 10. It's a lucky man. Look at Satan. It's 12, verse 10. It says, And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power, and the power is is in Hamashiach, for the accuser of our brethren is cast is cast down, which accused uh, them before our power day and night. 
hey, man, and that's what's going to happen, man. You know, he at the end of the day, though he accuses, though he's going to persecute us, and he's going down, man. You know, and that's the sentiment, man. That that should bring uh, all, the, all you all can comfort, man. Because though he has this uh, present time to rule, hey, man, you know, his rulership at the end of the day is not is not going to mean nothing when the kingdom is established, man. Uh, verse 11, it says, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, and their love, and and they loved not their lives unto death, man. So hey, man, you know you gotta get, you know, get ready, you know, to possibly forsake your life, man. You know, cause you you, you know you're gonna you're gonna seek the Lord, man. You know, and and, and it's at the end of the day, it, like how we start out the lesson, man. It's, uh, you know, uh, it's all honor and glory to you. How about Shimmy Alshon, man? Hey, so hey, with that, you know, hopefully the elect out there was edified. You know, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule and teach will. And salutations to the alchemy in the four corners of the earth, pushing out this word in truth and sincerity to the elect. You know, with that, Shalom.